Localized Ecology, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 250. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 250, January 7th, 2018 edition. First episode of the year. So happy new year to everybody that's watching this, if you're watching this currently. Uh, and thanks for watching. Today's topic is localized ecology, which is really about bringing the idea and the concepts of managing the local, the regions locally, to bring them to the people that live within a region and create ecological systems that support and the sustainability of that region. And one community's teacher demonstration, communities, villages, cities, and hubs are designed to do exactly that. What you see happening in the background here are the different village models that we are designing and open sourcing and free sharing. And we want to create those as do-it-yourself projects where groups of people can get together and create their own sustainable communities, villages, and eventually cities built on sustainability, built on concepts that we call highest good living, which cover all the foundations of sustainability, food, energy, housing, fulfilled living practices, high good economics, high good education, as well as true earth stewardship. Putting those things together and creating localized ecology through conscientious and, and sustainable practices, people coming together with a consciousness for the highest good of all to create a world that truly works for everybody, starting locally and expanding that to different regions, different countries, and globally creating a global cooperative and collaborative of teacher demonstration, communities, villages, and cities, and hubs working together to create a sustainable world that works for everybody. We are capable of creating this. The technology exists. The sustainable building practices exist. The technology exists for us to globally collaborate and create this, to bring prices down, to make, to, to make these projects do-it-yourself replicable. And this is what one community is doing. The time has come and for the first time in the history of the world. We have the ability to create localized ecology while collaborating globally. To create localized ecology all around the world that is still collaborating globally, working together to solve challenges on the other side of the globe and to create more efficient systems here in cooperation collaboration with people on the other side of the globe to the benefit of everybody while demonstrating localized ecology where these teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs are teaching people within that area how to conscientiously steward the resources. Right now, humanity is stewarding the planet's resources. We're just not doing it sustainably. We're not being good stewards. And the time has come to change that. We have the ability to bring control and power back to localized groups that can take care of their regions intelligently and teach others how to do the same thing. Not as a top-down approach, but as a grassroots, bottom-up approach of, hey, this makes a lot of sense. Who wants to participate? Who wants to get involved? Who wants to be a part of this? And so this is what one community is doing. We're creating open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for localized ecology built on a foundation of sustainable teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs working together around the world to create a world that truly works for everybody, simultaneously addressing all the challenges of our generation and generations to come through these models, demonstrating them on the local level, spreading those to the regions, to the, uh, the broader community, to states, nations, countries, working together to create a world that truly works for everybody. It sounds like a radical concept, but versions of this are already being done. Everything that we're creating has been done on smaller scales around the world. And even the larger concepts of nations collaborating, people are trying to do that. But we want to create a foundation of highest good living and highest good creation to support that. And we think that that is the next step towards creating a world that truly works for everybody. Like it could build the foundation for success through our model, which is designed to be self-replicating 
by making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating it attractive enough so that the idea will spread on its own, so the idea will replicate on its own, and that's what we're doing. The foundation of easy enough is because we're open sourcing and free sharing everything and designing all the tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for application, making it affordable enough because everything we do is open source and free shared, and the foundations that we're creating can be modified, adapted, and changed, but those foundations save people immense amounts of money so that they can take that capital and instead invest it in making everything that we're doing even better, modifying and adapting it, and hopefully contributing those modifications and adaptations back to the open source resource hub that we're creating, the infrastructure that we're already building, so that there's other options for people, other adaptations, modifications that people can choose from, and choose that to build their localized ecology off of. And of course, demonstrate is attractive enough by integrating the social architecture, the fulfilled living practices, the highest good education models, building in beautiful locations, by surrounding ourselves with nature because we have small footprints, dense living that then leaves that nature for the enjoyment of all, rather than building fences around it and saying, hey, this is only my piece of the lake, or this is my piece of the forest. Instead saying, hey, let's live together, cooperate together, collaborate together, and work together, and let's share all of this space. Because if we take all the little pieces that we would have had for ourselves and combine those together and we live in a smaller footprint and instead say that we're going to spend our time out enjoying all of this open space, we can steward that area and support it in ways that make a lot more sense and will allow that space to be so much more beautiful for our benefit, for the benefit of everybody that's sharing that space, for the benefit of the public as well. And so the attractive enough model, attractive enough, attractiveness, attractive enough aspect of our project, the attractiveness of our project aspect of it, is to invite people to come and experience everything that is one community, and if they like what they see, to be able to replicate it. And so the more fun and enjoyment we're having living with this environment, and the more we share the environment, the faster the model will spread on its own, and the more the environment is supported by others coming to experience it through them paying to be a part of the ecotourism model and then hopefully loving it enough so that they will go set up their own model and do the same thing and thus the model spreads on its own. So this is what we're doing. This is our idea of localized ecology. With that said, here is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments. Uh, we're an all-volunteer, nonprofit, unpaid team working together, collaborating to create highest good living that everybody will be able to enjoy. So here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, continued SketchUp design for the open-source outdoor areas of the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6. This week, we finished designing the fitness stations, updated the benches in the yoga area, and continued working on the main equipment area. The core team also continued working on the Murphy Bed instructions. This week, we finished page 771, as shown here. And the core team finished the formatting, image updates, and text editions for the vermiculture section of the Earthbag Village electrical design page. The core team also continued adding our final design content to the water recycling net zero bathroom design page. This week's focus was new formatting, adding additional calculation details, and finishing the written content for the first third of the tutorial. We'd say we're now about 30% complete with the page. Christian Ojeda, mechatronic engineer, completed his 33rd week volunteering with our team. This week's focus was further developing the vermiculture toilet chamber connection details for securing the removable chamber to the main chamber. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 95 of Dean's work. This week's focus was designing the cabinet door and hinge details you see here. Dan Alec, designer and illustrator, completed his 11th week working on the Compressed Earth Block Village render editions. This week, he added additional people to the east rooftop view and created this new final render of the front access way. Both of these images are now live on the site also. Aparna Tandon, architect, continued her work on the Compressed Earth Block Village external elements. 
What you see here is her 43rd week of work that created this presentation for the Mediation Labyrinth and Amplitheater that make up Zones 1-5. through five. These images are now live on the website too. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. Hannon Dantes, mechanical engineer, continued with his 21st week working on the Duplical City Center AutoCAD updates. This week's focus was updating the 3D file to match the updated dome rotations completed in 2D. Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, continued with her 64th week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was continuing the modeling of the mezzanine area, third floor sunrise patio, and fourth floor cupola, as shown here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued work on the formulas and data for the food calculations on the food self-sufficiency transition plan pages and began creating updated images to match the new calculations, as you can see here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued adding to the education, evaluation, and evolution process open source pages and tutorials. This week, we added additional content to the collaborative team roles and training page, as you can see here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team continued developing our Instagram page by adding new images with optimized descriptions. You can see some of these here. We also created a new Instagram icon and added that throughout our website. There you have it. There's one week of our all volunteer nonprofit teams progress working towards creating localized ecology that will be beneficial on a global scale. Creating a world of cooperative and collaborative teacher demonstration hubs working together to improve life for everyone and everything on this planet, because we can. Yeah, if you like this stuff, you'd like to receive a, an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. We'll add you to our newsletter list. If you would like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, everything we've talked about in this video, everything that you've seen in the intro video, uh, visit our written blog, visit our website, check it out. There's an immense amount of information there. We've been working hard on this for years. There's hundreds of thousands of hours of work that's gone into it. Take a look at our website and you get more access to information there. Uh, if you'd like to follow us on on social media. One of the easiest ways to support us is to like this YouTube video, to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and uh, join us on social media. We are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on Facebook. We are on LinkedIn. We are on Tumblr, Reddit, Pinterest, Twitter, all the different social media sites, about 15 others that I didn't name because we want to make it as easy as possible for people to like our information, to share our information, to get the information in the hands of the people who want and, are, and need it most. And so if you'd like the easiest way to help us out, uh, share our information. If you'd like to join our team, visit our helping page and see all the different ways to do that. There's lots of different ways to participate, and you are invited. And uh, last but not least, thanks. Thanks for watching to the end. Thank you for support as we move into 2018. Uh, thank you for following our project. Thank you for the donations that we get. We're all unpaid, so every donation goes to supporting our website infrastructure and helping to expand our, our content and forward our mission. It doesn't go to wages. So if you're somebody who's donated to one community, thank you for that. It does really help. We really appreciate it. And of course, thanks for being you. Wearing my I Love You shirt in support of the new year. and I do love you. I love you. Thanks for following our progress. Till next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.